Hello again. So today we're headed down to a new area of the property that we've only recently kind of opened up, put a trail in and cleared some logs. It's an area we call Moss Gully. And I'm going to go down there this afternoon for afternoon tea, do a bit of uh, drawing and painting again, and then have some dinner. And probably stay down there till it gets dark. All right, why don't you join me? So I've just found a nice quiet spot to park here in the uh, Moss Gully after uh, clearing a bit of the trail. Uh, I think the first thing I'll do is uh, use the twig stove bush buddy and uh, light myself a little fire and, and have a coffee and then um, think about what to do next. I think after that I'll do a bit of uh, sketching around here, the area here and um, after that do some dinner. Now I'm just going to light it with my matches that I made a previous episode. I'll put a link in the top corner for you. So this was one of the matches covered with nail polish. Not that it's wet, but it does help in making them waterproof. There it goes. Make sure I don't lose this. While that's lighting, I'll just fill my little kettle with water. Just enough for a, a cup. And we'll just wait for the fire to get going in the big stove, bush buddy. It's burning pretty good now. I'll just put my uh, rest on top here. And a little kettle. And just wait for that to boil. And meanwhile, just have a nice look around.
So this is called Moss Gully and uh, it opens up into this little clearing uh, which is a nice place to be able to come into with a car now. We've uh, cleared the trails to be able to get here. There originally was an old trail coming in but has been disused for a long time and spend a bit of time on the way just clearing it out, cutting away a few of the logs and stuff in the way and now we're in this beautiful little secluded part of the property so nice and peaceful here beautiful views pretty much everywhere I look so I'm going to pick one and do a bit of uh, sketching and watercolour and then finish it with ink back at the shack just going to look around for a good place to uh, select a scene to um, sketch and I'll let you uh, look over my shoulder as I put it together. So I hope you enjoy it. So just looking around, I think I found a nice scene looking up the valley, a bit of mixture of shade and trees. So uh, yeah, it'll look pretty good. I'll just, uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is the view I'm gonna try and capture in the drawing. I'll uh, let you watch over my shoulder as I put it together. difficult to do because there's a lot of shadows so I may have to use a bit of artistic license but now I'm going to um, do some, use my simple little paint kit and we'll put in some some color spots here and there and to um, give it a bit more life. kind of it for the main sort of colours. It's a bit more difficult than I planned because the background hill here is in a lot of shadow and I'm trying to allow me allow some space so I can add detail but at the same time I want to try and get the shade in of this back hill and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I don't want to kind of overdo the colours but I just want to add a little bit of blue wash for the sky, a nice um, pale blue hopefully, I don't want to sort of overdo the blue, but with a nice kind of wet brush I can just get the hint of blue in the sky and keep moving it around. because otherwise the water will dry on the page. That's probably just the right amount. There's a lot of dark colours that I need to put in, but I'll do that with the um, with it with the ink, uh, with the pen. It's hard not to get too fussy. There's just there's so much detail. So yeah, I'd better stop before I get too far. Just add a little brown here and there. I think. Yeah, I think I'll stop there. Like I said before, <laughs> trying not to do too much. All right, this time I'm really stopping. All right, that's it. So it's the next day back at the shack and I'm going to uh, ink in this drawing, this painting. So I've uh, got the picture of where I was on this phone and I'm just going to um, 
zoom into the bit I want to paint or draw up now and rest it on here and use it as my guide and then I'll um, while I'm working I'll I'll do this in a time lapse again so you can see it come together That's about it, I think. I've had to take a bit of uh, creative license with this one, but I think it's turned out pretty nice. It captures the bright hill, which is what I was trying to do. Um, and some of the trees and so on, they're always a bit of a struggle to get that distance perspective, but the dark hill in the background kind of works, which is good. Um, trying not to overwork it, of course, but that seems to be my thing. So that's about it, I think. So just got a bit of a campfire going. I'll wait for that to burn some of the larger wood down and uh, then I'll cook some dinner on there. I've got roughly an hour and a half, maybe two hours of sunlight left. Um, so I want to eat my dinner before it gets dark and then I'll just sit and enjoy the quiet around the campfire. Just gonna uh, up a few snags on the barbie as a first course and then uh, we've got a t-bone coming after that but I can hold this above the flames so uh, that'll cook quite nicely so it's great to enjoy the natural bush here in my uh, bushland escape as I listen to my sausages sizzle I'll cook the rest of it later it's getting a bit dark for video I just wanted to say now Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Just putting the tea boon on the coals. That's gonna be awesome. Bam, son. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.